Hi guys, Steph here. Now, along with many sort of inquiries I've received recently for pens, um, I had a gentleman from, well, across the pond over in Canada, ask me, do I have any Schaefer snorkels? And I thought, yeah, I think I've got a couple. He said, well, yes, uh, subject to restoration, I'd like to maybe purchase one. So I showed him this one. Um, which he agreed upon so what I've done is well fully restored it and serviced it now I've shown you numerous um, Schaefer snorkels before but there's just something a little bit interesting in my opinion on this one so I thought I'd do a video now first of all the fact that it comes with this well quite an interesting box unfortunately you can see you know the edges there are sort of yeah, they're a little bit split, but if we open it up, there's the pen in question. Now, if I just simply take the pen out, just for now, um, what I thought was interesting, you've got the box here. Now, if we open it up, take this sort of liner out, okay, what we've got inside, okay, not only do we have... The original instructions as you can see there in lovely condition as you can see so that's a bonus first of all and secondly look at this we've actually got the original receipt from well whoever purchased it from is it L. Ellisden's in High Holborn in London. Um, yeah, and look at that. Statesman Snorkel. Okay. <laughs> look at the price. £5.50 in the old money. Okay, and look at that. There's the date. 1957. So I think this is great sort of memorabilia for fountain pens. You've actually got the original receipt for this for this pen. So obviously we'll keep that all together in the box. So that's actually what I thought was actually quite interesting about this particular pen. But yeah, while we're at it, I thought it'd be good to do a review on one. So what we've got is this lovely classic black Schaefer Snorkel Statesman. It's a snorkel fill fountain pen. Um, it's got a large, well, quite a large cap band, as you can see there. We've got the very recognisable snorkel, sorry, not snorkel, the Schaefer clip there. And to the very top there, there you go, you've got the white dot for the well, yeah, lifetime guarantee. Whether whether Schaefer would actually give you a guarantee or not, I'm not too sure. Or, you know, if actually Schaefer is still actually in production. But there's the barrel imprint. Okay, it says, made in Australia, WA Schaefer Pen Company. To the very end, we've got the very recognisable sort of knurled Nil knob to the very end there. Now, although Schaefer snorkels, they were from around about 1952 to 59, as we've just seen, very nice indeed. We can sort of um, date this one, and I'm dating it nice and simple due to the receipt, 1957. Okay, let's give you a couple of little twirls of the pen. As I said, this one... You know, I got an inquiry from the gentleman, so I thought it'd be a good time to do a to do a review of the pen. Now these these particular pens came in numerous different colours, um, in classic black as you see here. They came in a burgundy, uh, grey colour, pastel blue and pastel green, uh, a lovely buckskin tan, a vermilion colour, which was like an orangey colour. And sage, sage green as well. So numerous different colours. If we take you up to this section, you can see it's got this sort of line section, which makes it very nice to, to grip, nice and comfortable. To the very top, 
we've got the well the triumph palladium silver nib as you can see there and the nib actually has Schaefer. it's got registered trademark and in this particular case made in usa not unusual so don't be put off to have a usa nib with the uh, australia on the barrel that's quite common for these pens there's a sideways view okay underneath there's the feed you can see the the snorkel just simply sat inside the feed and for you people that don't know who've not seen these pens before how it works is we unscrew this sort of black nail blind cap here until we feel a little click and then we pull out and there you go there's the snorkel to the end there's the filling tube and what we do is simply dip the snorkel in the ink and in one swift movement we just simply fill the pen now as i say i fully restored the pen i've put a new point seal inside here we've put a brand new sack inside the pen um, we've put a new o-ring to the bottom of the barrel and inside the the knurl knob in there we've put a new rubber seal so what i'm going to do as you'll see now what we'll do let's unscrew that again again till we hear this clicking noise this is the first time I've testing it, so you're seeing exactly what I'm seeing. Let me just get a little bit of tissue to the side here. So let's insert the snorkel into the ink. <laughs> I'm hoping you could hear that. Some bubbling, bubbling noise going on. Now once you do that, you'd simply screw the knob all the way back home the snorkel retracts back into the barrel and let's see if it works let's see how it writes so what we've got is a a Schaefer Schaefer snorkel this one's the Statesman and we're dating this pen 1957 it's actually writing very nicely indeed these nibs are quite stiff so I would not expect any flexibility because as I say they are quite stiff nibs but A gorgeous, lovely writer. Look at that. It writes absolutely lovely. So the service, hope, well, hopefully it worked. So what we're going to do now is simply pull the snorkel out. Now, if you fill the pen, I'd advise you to, to do this over the ink. So there you go. The snorkel's all the way out. I'm going to pull, there you go, when you pull on the plunger, it will extract a little bit of ink, that's why you need to do it over, over the ink bottle, let's just do it once more, okay, now just so that you people can actually see how it works, let me just bring on some tissue, so we save any spillage, bring on a little bit of ink. Okay, now I'm gonna pull on the plunger knob. There you go, you can see a little bit of ink comes out. That's why, once again, you need to do it over the ink bottle. So let's dip the snorkel in the water. Look at that, lots of ink coming out. 
let's pull on the snorkel tube again there you go it's always when you pull it actually just well yeah squirts a little bit of ink out so that's why once again do it over the ink bottle okay one more time there you go you can see you can hear the bubbling leave it for a few seconds pull on the plunger tube press down okay let's do it one more time for you people there you go bubbling going on a few seconds pull the plunger out and press down there you go so basically that's how this pen works the snorkel system so what I'm going to do I'll carry on flushing the pen after the video and it'll be ready to ship to the new owner but there we have it a gorgeous classic black Schaefer snorkel statesman as I say I've shown you snorkel pens before but i thought in the box with that instruction and that receipt i thought that was rather unusual and quite interesting so there we have it a lovely fully serviced schaefer snorkel statesman ready to go to the new owner i hope you've enjoyed watching the video and this pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people, don't be shy. Leave a comment below. Give the video a thumbs up, if you will. Don't forget to subscribe. But for now, I'm just going to say Slavo Krijini. And from me and this lovely pen, bye-bye for now.